Welcome to today's session. So today we are starting to look at mathematics paper 2 of 2021. So we are looking at section A which is compulsory and has 52 marks. So the section A leads answer all questions in this section. So let us start with question 1 of section A. So one leads simplify. Number 1A simplify basically a minus 12 over a square minus 144. So what we notice here is the numerator is a linear equation then the denominator is a quadratic. So this equation can be written by 1 minus or a minus 12 over the denominator which is a square can be written as a square minus 1 plus 0 a minus basically 144 okay so this 0 which is there it means there is nothing there is nothing of a which is 0 a now what we know is the numerator this becomes a beta quadratic equation where we know is the product is a 1 multiplied by 144 which is minus 144 then the sum is basically a zero, which is this one. Then you're looking for two numbers. So once we have the sum is a zero, we are looking at a perfect square. So we look at the product. So what's the square root of a product? Ignoring the negative, the square root of 144 is 12. So since the product is negative, it means we are multiplying two numbers, a positive and a negative. So we have 12 and a negative 12. So 12 plus 12. 12 minus 12 is a 0. Negative 12 times negative positive 12 is negative 144. So meaning where we have a square plus 0 a minus 144, this can be written as basically a square mi minus 12 a plus 12 a minus 144. Notice that this is a 0. Then we fact out what is common, so a outside, then we mean if a min minus 12, then plus 12, then a minus 12. So what you notice here is this one and this one are the same, so you can just get what is outside, so it's a plus 12 multiplied by a minus 12. So this one is equivalent to a square minus 144. So having done that, then we can simplify this one as a minus 12 over a plus 12 multiplied by a minus 12. Okay, a minus 12. Remember this is a. So what you notice here is this one and this one are, you can cancel. So we we'll just end up with basically 1 over a plus 12 as our final answer so this is basically our final answer for us to get these two marks okay so that's in part a so let us look at part b so part b let me just clear the board so that you have enough space or probably let me just move to the next page okay so this is the next page so let us look at part a B. So part B leads a box contains three black and white marbles. So we have black three. So black three, then white two of the same size. A marble is taken out at random from the box and did not replaced. A second marble is then drawn, calculate the probability that both marbles are white or of different colors. Okay, so let me just create space by reducing this since we've understood the question. So we have, we need to do a tree diagram in this case. We have this tree diagram which starts from here. So we have a black, white, then second selection, we can choose black or white, then black or white okay then in total we have three plus two which is 
the five marbles. So in this case, the, pro the chance that you choose a black marble from the five that are common is three out of five. Then a white, it will be two out of five at the first choice. Now, we are told that when we choose, we are not replacing. So when you choose one, we are taking out. So at the first branch, which is the first selection, when you choose one, we are remaining with four. So if we assume that in the first one we, cho we chose black, it means how many blacks are remaining? There are only the two out of how many now? Four because reduced by one. Then if we the first one was a black, then it means we didn't choose the white at the first one. So the white remains the same way they were two out of four, such that when you add this branch to give us a one. Let's go to the bottom branch. If in the first place we chose a white, what it means is the second selection we are remain with one white out of how many four to choose from then if in the first place we chose a white the second selection is two of three uh black marbles to choose from out of four because the first one was a white so what we have here is we have the first one chose the second we chose the black given that we chose a one the first one a black in this case we chose a white in the at the second okay because we started with basically black white so the second one is a white given that the first one was a black then this one the second one is a black given that the first one was white then this one is the white is the second one is a white given that the first one was a white okay so these are the possible outcomes then given that two marbles both of them they are white so they are white is this root so we are talking about probability that is both white white one white two so is equal to basically probability which is two out of five we multiply by this one which is one over four so we end up with two over twenty which is basically one out of ten as the answer to number one b one great then of different colors so different colors there are two ways we can have different colors so you can have different colors where the, the, the first one was black then the second one is white or the case where the first one was black then the second one is white so different color which i'll show probability is equal to d different color dc or equal to so probably that the first one was black which is three out of five multiplied by the probability that the second one is black which is two out of four then plus probability that the first one was white which is two out of five multiplied by the probability that the second one was black which is three out of four so we end up with two times uh, this one is four sorry okay it's two out of four, four. so two times uh, three is six six over twenty then plus then this one is again six over twenty we end up with twelve over twenty which simplifies to uh, basically uh, three out of five or six out of 10. So 3 out of 5 is the answer to B. So basically, this is how we deal with it. question 1 to get these beautiful 70 marks out of 52. So today, thank you for joining us. Join us as we look at question 2 in the next episode. Thank you very much.